we're playing uh, Carcassonne with the River, Inns and Cathedrals, and Traders and Builders. This is the river. The only time the river was ever interesting to lay down was when it came out in more or less symmetrical order and it created a T, and that game was awful. <laughs> Did not like it. A T meaning? A T of the river shape. The perfect, was, perfectly mirrored symmetrical. Yeah, it was not fun. I, I, well, I remember it being uh, something I've never seen before and thinking, this is going to be fun. It's going to be such a satisfying looking map. And it was not. I think it wasn't fun because I lost really badly. <laughs> That's probably why. Well, I, I, I can imagine that shape of river making a very large farm and a lot of points riding on that farm. So right now already we have a very large potential farm in this entire left half, and that will be interesting to see if anyone goes for that. I should note that I am I, I, I always say that I lose the farms after it gets to a certain scale. I have a really hard time seeing them. And I always try to avoid the bridge city here. And... Except I won the last game because I got it. <laughs> it's true. Don't listen to you. It's true, it's true, she did. But I also lose most of the time, so... Whoa, early. Oh, jeez. Well, I have one option, which is not an option. If there's just one, it's not an option. So, <laughs> there it is. You, you think you're going to win with that bridge city again? Mm, maybe. So here's a here's the thing that I always run into. Um, I'm tempted to just take the quick four points off of this uh, little football city here, but... I am concerned that it opens up a liberty for Megan to take and sneak into this uh, city that I've got built up. Um, and to avoid that, I'm just going to have to place this somewhere else. May as well just continue the road that I've already been building up and also start a new city there that is pretty safe, I think. Except it's got a thief on the road right next to your city. <laughs> it's not safe. <laughs> I'm concerned that this, this road bit it's going to impede on my ability to work around that. Mm. Now I feel better about placing there. Maybe starting a new road or... I'll, I'll save a meeple for now. Just finish off that city and use my extra turn to get maybe something else going. First good. Oh, it is the first good. Yeah, you're right. Ding, uh, here I, I'm tempted to finish off this road, but again, it opens up a liberty for uh, for Megan in two ways: either he, either here uh, connecting to this road, or over here connecting to the new tile to uh, start encroaching on my tiny little town. It's not even a city yet. Uh, so instead, I'll just go here and just get get a quick two points. And I'm just going to keep building onto this thing uh, over here and hope that he doesn't get something that lets him eke in on my city the next turn. Oh. That's well. tough because either one of these is going to make it harder to complete with this road business. But at least I can't sneak in on you. That's true. I don't know, I think I'll go up here. Nah, I'm gonna look at the whole thing. Well, i get little points. With this tile, uh, I am really tempted to just start building a farm here because my rule of thumb is that if it has three complete cities, that it makes it worthwhile to sacrifice a meeple just for those nine points. And especially when there's only one tile uh, waiting to connect it to possibly get another city on it and potentially another city over here on the uh, on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, it's a big field and I think it has a lot of potential. It always takes me a while because I have to with, I have to eye. Like, I, I can't put... My downfall is that like, I think I could put it on the right, but mm. no, there's there's this bridge here. Yeah. Now, if I put it here, something ends a city, it could likely let me in. That's if the road goes into that city. Exactly. So... I think that tile's pretty rare, though. That is a big gamble. See what happens over here later in the game. Yeah. Maybe over here. Hmm. Churches. Just gonna keep on building these buddies because I've got meeples to spare, and I wanna get them working for me. 
gather those tides. Ending road's good, but I don't want to blot myself out of stuff. Mm. I wanted that one. <laughs> So this is where I think I'm going to be able to pr at least protect this corner of my field because the only thing that'll fit, that'll fit here is usually going to be an elbow that'll seal off that entire field in that corner. If Megan's lucky, she'll find a tennis ball uh, tile that opens up the opposite way and that will maybe open up some stuff. Honestly, the, the easiest way to encroach in this field right now would be if uh, she manages to find a tile that fits right here and then puts a meeple on that little tiny sliver. Squeak it in. Yeah. Uh, but for the time being, I don't have any other cities built up yet, so I want to drop a meeple onto that city and see where that ends up. Just like we talked about. Look at that. Boop. Yeah. And I get to go again. Oh. Hooray! Yeah. Yay. Uh, yeah, that seems safe. Oh? Well, so I could go there and not have to worry about this road coming down, possibly. But I always feel like if I leave a corner, like a lot of mm -hmm. land, land around here, uh, that it gives opportunity for, for you to jump in. I guess I could put it there. The insurance would be to just put a meeple on that. Mm-hmm. The, the little the little nugget. Yeah. Nugget. Yeah. Just a little thing. Alright, I'm running low on meeples, so I think it's time to cash in on this uh, inn road. Uh, if you've not played this expansion before, this little pond you see here, that's an inn, and it uh, gives extra points for completing that road. If it was not complete at the end of the game, then it wouldn't score anything. Hey, hey. Ah. Uh. Hmm. What, what are you thinking? Well, that may not be worth it. Well, there's not a whole lot going on. So I, if I put another farmer on this tile, mm. and then it ends up connecting, but it might be likely that it would get cut off. So I'm not. Although this is a good spot, but it <laughs> helps you. So does this looks good. Yeah, those options whenever you have to uh, put your own... Uh, Assist. Yeah, it's it basically just neutralizes the points. It's not quite like stealing, but it sort of is. So I am tempted it's, it's to... It's semi-theft. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I'm, I'm thinking about going here, and even though I'll share the the field with Megan, I might do it. Or, here's a here's a trick. I could just put a meeple here. I'm not really getting anything for it, unfortunately. But if she does get an opportunity, then I'll still hold the majority. If she had any goods on this city, I would actually be tempted to just complete it for her. But, um, gosh, and even completing this really helps her because she's got this farmer there. It's always odd to me when a, goods, a lot of goods don't come out till like, middle or the end of the game. Yeah, like, it's basically a normal game of Carcassonne for the time, for, for a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it's gonna go there. Take some quick points. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm kind of penned in here. I, I have too much invested in, in low yield properties to put put it in real estate terms. Now, would this piece not let you jump in on my? It would, um, here? but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Um, mm -hmm. it, it certainly would make it harder it for you to complete. Looks so tempting. It is, but all it would I would be sacrificing my double meeple just to neutralize it. <clears throat> when I could probably toss in some garbage tile right in that spot and just make it harder for you without having to spend any of my own meeples garbage to do it. Tiles. But right now you have a pretty high likelihood of, even if you don't get a cap on that spot to complete it, you may get a turn 
uh, and then you get your extra tile, and that could cap it. Um, that is true. So, and even well, and, and that's the thing too is that even if I were to go here and drop my double meeple in, you can just drop in a tile here and start connecting on that one, and just makes the city even bigger and more valuable. And I've sacrificed. I the... don't. I don't have a ton of meeples available right now, though. All you need is the one. Mm, that's true. All right, so this is me double thinking myself a lot, and this is what happens. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. What the heck? The city is too big for me to ignore, even if it's only a a wash. Even if it doesn't have goods on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just big, and and a cathedral on it. It's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, let's go here and get my ends points mm -hmm. and start another little business here. Well, <laughs> I could be very safe and just really for sure neutralize that big cathedral city. But I want to start building up. I don't want, I want to, I'm very reactive right now. She's got me on the ropes. Do I? Yeah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Taking that little tiny city there. Okay. And here's where. See, you see things like that, and I don't see I don't see anything groundbreaking. No? <laughs> we were just talking about it. Oof. I could really just make life bad for you, but then I'm not gonna get on that farmer. Right yeah. Now. Considering that farmer isn't getting you anything right now. Yeah. Farmer needs to go to work. <laughs> I have two meeples, one of which is the double dude. Oh, oh, gosh. So I did miss it. So what? I can't. Oh. I can't add anything to my my big. I thought you were gonna go to yeah and squeak to, to this spot with okay. your double and then steal it for me. And, yeah. But if that, that's, I, that's a lot. That's a that's a lot. Of that's fingers, a lot of openings. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Hmm. I see the caution. Mm-hmm. Well, cause I always run out of meeples. I always throw everything down and regret it. <laughs> Sometimes it works out, though. You, you, you bet big. Yeah. Well, why not? But see, I'd have to finish the left, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not without its risks. But aren't there a couple pieces that would lock you out, though, on the right? There's this one. Oh, yeah. I'm pointing at... You can't see what I'm pointing at. Uh... There's there's a few things. There are a few couple. There are a couple ways to lock them out. Yeah. So I will go here. Mm -hmm. It's got a barrel on it. The main thing I, th I think that I've managed to do here by placing just this tile with a double meeple on it, um, even if I didn't place anything on it, it limits the opportunities that Megan has to use her builder. Yeah. And that, that hurts. Yeah. Because if I don't use my builder and he uses his over and over, yeah. and I can't put my builder anywhere else. Speaking of which, I need to get a feature started that can have a builder on it so I can start taking advantage of that. All right, here's where I'm feeling good about putting a builder down. Because this is the ideal. This this is the, the thing where you have... It takes at least mm -hmm. two turns for anybody to sneak in on, on your city. Yep. At this point, since I only have my double dude left, I'm just going to go for just getting meeples back. That'll give you a good this, two. And this is a, getting to the point where I have a harder time seeing the available farms, so I often have to zoom out to see the whole picture and just stare at it for a while. All right. I want to hang on to my double maple until I can put it down. If I'm not going to use it to you know, take over something, mm. I say, hang on to it um, until it's like a football city, and then I can get it back right away. I like that spot. Yeah, and I like so it. So do you. I like it too. It's uh, it's pretty safe compromise. Uh, the thing I'm thinking about 
is what it connects this field to, and it isn't really gaining me anything. It's... I I'm at the meeple disadvantage right now. She's got uh, two to my one. But then you know my tendency to not use the double unless... I see, I've, I've, I've known you to use your double uh, just like any other, though. I do, but it's when I think I can get it back real quick. Oh. The... The danger is always come, uh, getting to a critical turn and you just have nothing available. That hurts. Yeah. So, though it puts her at three to three to my two, I, I think I'm just still going to go ahead and take it. And put take this opportunity to put my pig down on that field. Hello, church. Yeah. Well, we're tied up right now for... Goods and for, almost points. Yeah, pretty much. And I have three. Hmm, that's a nice spot for it. It is a nice spot for it. I'm wondering if I need to put if I should put a farmer down up there, even though there's just two right now. There could potentially be more, or should I put the clergy down and try it for nine? Because at least with the clergy, what's he called? The cloister. Oh, the priest? Priest. I think it's called the priest. I'm not sure. It's a meeple. The meeple on the church. Uh, that I could get it back. With farmer, you don't get it back. And so I've been waiting forever to get this in. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I can cap this off. Nope. Hold on. Macaroni. Uh, again, though, this is all the more incentive for Megan to just close off the city, cut her losses, take the goods, and also get her builder back. Get those goods. Meanwhile, I'm just going to start inching away here. Thieving on those roads. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't squeeze in there. Although I would get another turn. That's always nice. And if I finished it, I would get two goods. Just two? Just, the whole thing? Just the two, yeah. How was that city feeding itself? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Just Let's just see. Let's just see. Turn it that way. Oh, <laughs> because you like it that way. Well, then this this elbow thing could complete itself, and then what's happening over here? I don't know. <laughs> eh. Oh, another one. Oh dear. Ray. Oh dear. Well, yeah, you can you can now you can get you a. Could third. Try to get in then in there. Yeah. Well, see, so you have a double. Oh God. Let's I, see what happens. I knew this would happen. I knew it. I knew it. Well, nothing's yeah. happened yet. Yeah. Now I'm just over here in a new little subdivision just waving at you. <laughs> Our driveways aren't connected yet. These neighbors. Uh, gosh. Do I sacrifice my second to last meeple for this other cloister, which would take four turns on its own to finish? With no, no one else really pushing for it. Maybe three turns if you work on your... Uh... Builder? If the builder... That's that's unlikely, huh? Yeah. If I put the builder on this road, then maybe, but uh, the builder's already tied up on this, which is... Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna go here and pray for the best. Hey there. Oh, no. Hey, little neighbor. Oh, no. Hatfields and the McColls. Oh, gosh. Nobody's on this road? No, not yet. No. I mean, that's a nice looking road. It's your last meeple, though. It is my last meeple. This is how I'm used to Megan playing. <laughs> Just drop it that. Just drop that in there. She's feeling pretty confident, I think. Well, it helped that we had a warm up match this morning. This is our second match of the day. I think also it's tougher for me because I, I only play this maybe once a week, mm. and Daniel plays a lot uh, during the week, which, I mean, that's. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Goods. Oh. Points. I like those things. Oh. And another turn. Oh, God. I want Publisher's Clearinghouse. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this, is, this is the most I have played Carcassonne in a week. In a long, long time. Uh, gosh. Well, the world is my oyster. Oh, man. Yeah, I am definitely on the defensive now. 
I do. Describe the pig. So normally, when you play with this expansion, uh, any farm that is con that is adjacent to the river will score one extra point than normal. Uh, if you have a pig on a field, then it also scores one extra point uh, th than normal. So if you have a pig and a river together on the same field, then you get two extra points uh, um, per city than normal. Normally, you would only get, uh, I think, three points per completed city on a field. With a river and a pig, you'd be getting five points per completed city. It's a good pig. It is a very good pig. So that's some pig. Uh, so, I, yeah, I am really, really on the ropes at the moment. We're still about halfway through the game, though. Maybe I can pull it out. I'm not sure. Turn it around. Maybe. Ooh. Yeah. This is nice. I like that. <laughs> can you zoom in on that just to show you what you're doing? Well, yes. Want to get it on the farm with all these little bitty cities. And I put it, just put my pig down. <laughs> I don't have pig strategy. I've never have. I just, I see that it's an option and I feel like, uh, that feeling when you want to put something down on a turn, mm. even if you don't really know what it does, it's mm. like, oh, pig, cool, pig. <laughs> oh, pig, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that eventually I can just sneak in on this last little bit of field and, and take majority on that farm again. But for the time being, I just can't sacrifice my Delta Meeple just for that. Now you got one back. Yep. Ah, uh, church. Have any Betty on a road? No. On that little corner there. Yeah, but I can't do anything to it. Yeah. I should clarify. Uh, well, this is... That's a spot. Mm. That is also a spot. <laughs> there are a lot of spots. There are a lot of spots. And I have two... So I, I just want to use this to get a little bitty road point. Yep. Uh, not going to put anybody in that church. No. So I feel like I've thrown down too many farmers right now that aren't doing really? things as smartly as they could. We'll, well see. Well, this little guy, he's getting you six points. Yeah, I'm hoping he'll get me more. Now, that one I like. This like one? My pig farmer. Yeah, has yeah, like basically neutralized anything I was trying to build up there. So what's the max? Do you have a maximum number of farmers you would ever put down? You're like, I've already hit my wall. I'm not going to put any more out. Uh, well, it depends on the, the point of the game. If it's towards the end, then ideally every meeple would be a farmer. If I've played everything just right. Sure. Like, so the last few turns you just... Yeah. Well, but then by that time it's harder to get in on farms. So here I would... I, I'm, I'm hesitant to... Well, hmm. I used to have that extra meeple, but I want to put a builder on this city too. I want to I put a builder somewhere. Gosh, I'm... Hmm, this may be... Looking back, I can already see the instant replay of this game, and I'm like, oh, this is where he blew it. Not me, I live in the moment. <laughs> <sighs> Gosh, yeah, okay. I gotta take the good, and I gotta take the meeple back, just, just to get the lead. Mm. Oh, but if I go here... Okay, there's still some opportunities. I'm not completely uh, shrugging myself off. Okay, points, a good, and... A meeple back. Yeah, uh, that's good. Yeah, those okay. are three very good things, actually. Yeah, <clears throat> it's not as good as your crazy cathedral me metropolis there. That's the name of my subdivision. <laughs> uh, so I finally can put my builder on something. Yeah, halfway through the entire game. Put it back on there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, I could finish my road so nicely. See, that's what I should do. It's like every time that I see it, my opponent's chips or whatever these are tiles. Uh, I always think like, oh, what could I do with it? I should be seeing, oh, what is he going to do with it? <laughs> so with this, just put another... This is, this is a cycle that I like to do sometimes. It's just close up one, uh -huh, close up one road, start another one. Then effectively that makes this this tile, if it's completed or not, usually it means that this tile will have earned, earned your points twice. And I can go again. That's nice and neat looking. I have two. But I'm gonna get one back. Should I start something on that road? Ooh. Mm. I don't have an extra dude. Hey, oh, I like that. that. Yeah. That's good. Whoa. And I can do that. <laughs> Look at that. See, now there's a good there's a good in and action. Fourteen points for that. That's mm. good. 
So right now this farmer is earning her nine points. Uh, so a 30 point farm right now is, is on the line. I just have no way to get in on it yet. Now is the time I think I'll, I'll go ahead and even, yeah. At the very least, this is gonna earn me three points. Yeah, for being there. Yeah. So I'm gonna try all of my might to block this. Oh god, this and pig she's tile. totally going to. This is gonna X out, I know it. Oh, okay. No, that's a little. It cuts down the options a lot, though. It really does. Like, I, I need exactly that tile in order to connect. Which, how many are there? It has to be, that has to be the little corner thingy. All right. With no other roads or any other features. Uh-huh. So there's one. Uh, there's five, six, seven tiles that'll fit. But like the types. There's two types. Yeah. So but there's seven of them. Yeah, there's, there's seven. Good total. gravy. Okay. Seven's less than everything. <laughs> this is the kind of thing you have to think about when you're working with uh, big farms and, and, uh, big cities and stuff, when you're thinking about all the opportunities to steal, you don't have to memorize the entire tile list. Uh, as long as you know just like that with every enclosed side, it reduces your opponent's options that much more. That's all you really need to know. We play the version that you can peek at the tiles remaining. Some folks, if you play the other way, well, learn to count cards. Gosh, I don't know how... Uh, I'm sure a professional uh, like tournament level... It feels wrong to do it, but it's nice. To to, to be peak. Able to like memorize. Oh oh to peak. To peak. I, I understand that and a lot of people feel that way. But to me it's it's what high grade, high level Carcassonne players are doing inherently because they know the the tile list. It just evens the playing field and not uh, I, I think it's okay, personally. If it's trackable information then Oh sure. Then let everyone be able to track it. It's just I would never have the capacity to memorize everything and then I would have to eat up a tons of time to look at the map and see what's been used and yeah for for my skill level i feel like it feels a little cheaty i want to keep that road going up there so i'm not going to go up here i can go over here the barrel why not why not barrel the barrel why not my builder isn't even down mm -hmm. right now and that just really sucks uh i'll just Toss my builder down right now, just so I can have some opportunity to use it. What do we have here? Oh, well, you, you get your barrel in. Uh-huh. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, because if I put it here, you'd get a meeple back, and I would get a few more points for that meeple. Yeah. But I like goods. Yeah, and you'll... Uh, we, we need to, I need to get up on my barrels. Yeah. All right, now I have some op options with my meeples next turn. And of course, the one time... That's a nice farm there. Nice farm now. That's a nice farm now. A lot of history on that farm. Do I spend my last meeple on this farm that's going to earn 12? But see, the thing is, if I don't, then Megan's just going to go ahead and do it at her first opportunity, and uh, it's not going to cost her nearly as much. How pretty that, like, try out of cities is. It's really nice. It does look like a suburb. Ah, oh, a little cul-de-sac. It's what it is. It's Carcassonne 1, and then, then it's like when suburbs name themselves, and you have two. Carcassonne 2. <laughs> No, I can't. I can't spend it. I can't spend it. Ooh, that would have been nice oh. for you over there. Oh, that's one. So this is one of seven, though. Yeah. <clears throat> one of seven. Uh, I don't really have anybody on a city at the moment, do I? Well, there's a lone ribbon up there, just, mm -hmm. just hanging out. There's also this business. Yeah. Right there. Oh, is there a thing I can do with this? Yes. A hat. Yes. A wizard hat. I could do that. Uh, oh, hmm. This one will give me a meeple back, and... Oh, there was my opportunity. Oh. All right. Uh, I think I am going to go here, and then get that meeple back. But this thing is never going to get completed. I'm just... Man, oh man. Okay, but I've got I've got two two features writing on this tile. I'll just go ahead and do that. Smart. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, this one. We never nicknamed this tile, but I like it. It's almost the tennis ball, but it's not. It has a bit of city on it. Uh... It's Wimbledon. It's, it's is a, it? It's a tennis city. Oh, okay. Wait, is Wimbledon a city as well, or is it just? A, I don't a, know. A, um... Sure. <laughs> 
Uh... Okay. <laughs> Very casual. I like it. Gosh, there's just nothing happening. Sure there is. I can't, I mean, if I do that, oh god, that's really cutting off two things there, and... I just need to take the extra turn, that's what I need. Yeah, when in doubt. When in doubt, take the extra turn. At least get three points out of that. I could go here and get the barrel. Ooh, and a ribbon. You'll get those points, but you're, I mean, you're already leading in points. It's... But goods can, good can make or break it. Yes, that's true. If she completes it, then she's gonna just... T get both. Get both, and yeah. Yeah, and the thing is, it's also helping her farmer there. Yeah. I'm waiting for the, the second cathedral to come out, and I want to have a city ready to take it. The thing is, I've just been running on empty here with... Oh, gosh, that's awful. Oh. The X's are wonderful, by the way. We don't. We hardly ever play without them. You know, do you want to play like a pro can play without having to do the memorization? Then No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll secure this just to make sure that she can't, uh, if, if I am able to connect this, uh, these two fields and take majority in that farm again, uh, I want to be able to protect it. Hey. Uh. Hooray. Oh. <laughs> hey. Oh, come on. Hooray. <laughs> and I think I feel better about just getting the, sh the small points and let, that's it. Oh, yeah. When, when you have this, this many free meeples. Yeah. Wow, I've got five now. I think the only ones I have down are farmers, huh? Finally. And a pig. Here Aww. we go. Okay. Okay. Maybe this is my comeback. Maybe. Oh gosh. There's another cathedral in the in the mix. That's that. right. I'm waiting for it. So I wanna Kinda I wanna set things up for it. Yeah, I'm gonna put that meeple here so that I can put put a cathedral at this corner over here when it comes out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gosh, it would have been nice to t get a meeple back on the that little half football that I've had forever. So this Oh yes. Well and it's also at this point of the game though that I have to I just throw I have to throw a tile down and move it around before I can actually visualize what it looks like in each spot. Which is funny because sometimes I'll throw one down just to get it on the table to start moving it around and then Daniel will groan like this and I'm like, oh that's an option. <laughs> yes, that is an option. So I have no poker face is what you're saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> I do like this is ribbon just hanging out up here. Mm -hmm. Because if you get this, well, what, Mac, more than 30 point farm now. Mm -hmm. But if I can get all three goods, that'll at least put me in the back in the running. Right now we're basically tied up on goods. Uh -huh. we're tied on wheat. She's got lead on barrels. I've and got lead on ribbon. I do have a builder too. Oh. oh. And I could hope that I would get the cathedral. That would be a nice thing. My builder needs to come back to my supplies, so I'm going to do that. And... Ooh, this, this is the tennis ball we've been referring to. It's It has the little, it's green. Mm -hmm. It has the little lines. It's probably fuzzy if it was, if it's grass. I don't want to add anything to that in and possibly someone else. Who would that be? I don't know. Some schmo. <laughs> Omni dumb. Now, I could go here. Yes. And put something there. Yes. <laughs> oh. Ever since you completed that whole thing. The city? Yeah, I've been on the ropes and... Uh, just get my meeple down, my builder down there. Yeah. It would have been nice to have it on my potential cathedral city. This, with 30 turns left, it's, everything's riding on builders and cathedral right now for me. Yeah, I don't like this thing. I think I'll just go for this and hope that I get another little nugget, make some football cities and get a few more points out of this here, farmer. Our farm oh. needs to earn their, <laughs> earn their place. Okay, so there's that. Get an extra turn, hopefully. Uh, hmm. See, I'm concerned that if I do this, it'll leave open an opportunity to steal, but the tiles that have a road at one corner and then at the next corner, or at the next uh, side, having a city are somewhat rare. No, not uncommon. Well, we but... could always see them in either. Oh, we could. Uh, for that particular one, oh, that's, there's quite a few. Yeah. 
yeah, too, too many out of 28 to, for me to risk it, honestly. So I do that, and I'll just share points with Megan. I gotta put something there. And if, as long as it doesn't X out this cathedral, I'm okay with that. Or this, uh, cloister. Alright. Mmm. Mmm. No goods on it, but... Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you get the... Oh, man. Oi. Uh, oh. Well, get some quick points. I don't have anything tied up on roads, though, so I can't really free anything. I'm, I'm worried about doing this, because it really just does open up another opportunity for uh, Megan to come in on that farm. Oh boy. This seems the quickest way to earn some yeah. points. Yeah. I always have to, when I get this tile, I always have to say, I see it as a bridge. Because so often I think it's an end and it's not. And it, it does not uh, does not help my game. I think you could survive it this time around. Oh yeah, yeah. Some A few times I've laid it down, I'm just like, ah. Everything was riding on it. Yeah, and that that is that is part of what I don't like about um, like app versions of board games. Because if I did that at home with our Carcassonne, tabletop version I would just go oh I didn't see that let me redo mm. unless I'm playing with a real hard ass <laughs> then that's usually fine I do think that if you, if you make a, any, any app developers uh, I would say undo op- yeah if you play a local game have an undo option that, w- that would be nice or in that you could turn off the option if you want to be real tough about it oh sure I understand it for online play you don't want to do an undo oh absolutely undo. but local play and also like you know sometimes you just like accidentally hit the Oh, yeah. The thing with your pan. That is true. <laughs> and you don't know what... You, or, I haven't done it in a long time, thankfully, but sometimes you, um, if it's especially with the builder, you forget to take your second turn and the other person takes your turn and you've been oh. taking each other's turns for a long time oh. and then you can't do it. Life's real hard. <laughs> we got some real problems. Yeah. You're making something down there. I am. Hmm. Uh, I will get... I'll tie you for the barrels, and actually no, I'll, I'll get all the barrels, and then I will. What is in those barrels? <laughs> Maybe they're empty. Barrels are handy, hard to make. There's a lot of them. I think they're full of wine. I don't know. This Carcassonne seems they have so many churches. I think there would be like a dry county. Oh, huh. so this would be like what do we? What's boring? You store in there, dry goods. Ooh. Ah. Uh, sure. Well, we'll just tie for points, but. Yeah, no goods on that. But I have to go again. Yeah. Having a 30-point farm right now and having uh, 30 points on uh, just from the majority on goods is what's saving me right now. And this is absolutely the time in the game where there's about 20 tiles left that I forget to look for farm. Like the little parts where you can squeak in, I forget. And so I'll just blast away at little cities or with my road bits and then he'll squeak in somewhere in the periphery and then... <laughs> sure. Hey, look at that. Finally I get I get to complete my cloister here. It's been been a while. Uh, I have a free builder available. Drop it in there. I'm very concerned now that Megan will get the uh, get the cathedral and just completely poison yeah, that. It's poison the well. Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't come out yet. Has not. The last game we played they came out <laughs> one right after the other. So I got it, and then... Pretty early, yeah, too. Yeah, like... I think there was only a couple cities built at that time. I do like this this ribbon business I've got going on. So we'll... There. I am concerned that Megan's going to try to sneak in on the farm from this angle. Nope, I wouldn't have saw, seen that. Don't worry about it. Gosh. There's nobody farming all those cities. Yeah, I need to I need to start spreading out my dudes here. So that's 12 points on its own. So I could add on to my road. Mm-hmm. Not to that city. I could jump in on a city somewhere. There's a barrel. That's probably smart so you don't have majority on barrels. And the reason you're not even like thinking about jumping in on a, f- a field is because you only have the one meeple left. Oh, down where? Oh, here where I was just talking about. Oh, oh in the bottom corner? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because I have, what, one on it? Yeah. And you have three. You'd have to spend your double. I don't even know. I have my, my double is all that I have. Oh, okay. Yeah, you wouldn't even be able to take it. We'd be tied. Yeah. Which isn't necessarily a bad idea. But... It cuts out. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. It's a choice of getting a meeple back or spending your... With 16 tiles left. Yeah. Meanwhile, I can do that... 
I'm just gonna try to get the extra turn. And I will go here, or I could go here and get nine points, but if Megan is able to actually tie up this farm, I wanna be able to do try something to about it. Try to do something. Yeah. So, of course, this sort of dictates the next couple turns here. If the opportunity oh, arises. Oh, do I? Oh, I don't want to give it to you, though. Well, there's not a lot. You could start something in the upper left, but it may not. Yeah, just, just toss it somewhere. Do I have any? I don't have any meeples. You have no meeples. Not a one. Yep. Let's put it there. And I could at least help out somebody that's thieving on that road. Mm. I see a real good spot for that. I see it, too, and I would get... I would. I would assure my majority in ribbons. Yeah. What else are you thinking, though? Well, I guess... What else is better? It would be, it would be a quick t uh, four points over here if I wanted it. But it's ten for goods. I've already got the lead on it. At most, you would just tie it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, but... Oh, but wait. Oh, I didn't see that there's a ribbon on it yeah. as well. Oh, yeah, oh. You yeah. would, that would just okay. spike that ball. And yeah, it okay. All right. Rub that ribbon in my face. Look at all of my ribbons. Oh. Gosh, but a 60-point lead is really making me nervous. Do I have one meeple back? Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's going to give you points for that meeple. Which one? If I complete it. This flow. <laughs> this farmer down here. Oh, yeah. But I, with nine turns. For, like, I don't know. You never know. Donut. Or not donut. What am I calling this? Uh, football. <laughs> Football. <laughs> hey, look at that. Wow. That's, a, that's nice and satisfying. Yeah. Huh. Look at that. Okay. And this is not the game for the completionist. No. <laughs> you will lose often. But you'll make some nice looking cities. And if that's what you like in life, then you will be a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Very positive attitude. Yeah. Just a game. Why not? It's like we were playing, what was that card game that seemed like it repeated the rules too much? Oh. Gal Galaxy something something. Oh, um, yeah, uh, Race for the Galaxy. Race for the Galaxy. Good game. Uh, I just had a tough time just tracking the turn order and the cards. We kept playing it, though. And so I just decided I'm going to make my own theme. And I had a whole story going on with my cards. Had didn't really know if, uh, if I was earning any points at all, but I had a good time. Because you were just going, like, all robots. I think, I think I had, like, a Android disco going on. Yeah. Something like that. It was yeah. Cool. You just made, made your own little story about yeah, it. Yeah, and... and I had a good time. Uh, six. Six turns. A. Yep. So you're trying to get some points out of this? A little bit. So remind me, so if you're farming on the left and the right of a city, well, I say that it's blocked off on the other side, do you score that city twice? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. it's two separate, uh, two separate farms. Yeah. Sorry, viewers at home, and I keep moving us all around. <laughs> get a little seasick. I apologize. <laughs> They're watching with an Oculus Rift headset. Ugh. Oh no! Oh. That I didn't realize it would do that. That's cool though. Oh. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> I'll take it. My precious fields. <laughs> okay, I need to. I, I I have to use my last meeple here. Well, I can get this one back. Yeah. That's a good thing. That may actually win you the game. Just having eight. those extra. If points. I win by eight, then we'll know. <laughs> oh boy, and I yeah I have no other meeples available, so I'm just gonna toss this out here. Oh, the garbage! Throw it in the garbage. Oh no! And you can, I bet you can X out that spot that I need. Yeah, I bet I can. And I don't really want to take advantage of it. Well, so there's two left. I could put a meeple on it and get what one, two, three, four points. Yeah, that'll be four points. Four points. And there's only I only have one more turn, so why not? Oh gosh. Gotta ring it out. Cut me Get off. Get blood from that turnip. Everywhere. Get just... blood from that meeple. Oh, that sounds bad. Oh. Sorry, meeple. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you trying to bleed me dry? Okay. I want to get a couple more points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because right you, you really need it. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. Ding dong. Oh, man. Uh, I had a real solid lead on points. I didn't even see that. Yeah, halfway through the game. What you, happened? It was that big city. Was that really? you, yeah, you took it. But and, it was only like 30. Yeah, still. 40. Oof. Shoot. If I had that farm. 
Would it have been enough? A 40 point? Yeah. 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 Ooh. It would have put me at. It would have put me at. Oh, easily. A two fifty nine though. So you'd have still won it. Or no? No, but, because I we, wouldn't have the four. Because right, it, was, it would be. A I 40. would be at, you know, what two twenty one. Yeah, man. So yeah, right here was the deciding factor. I think uh, looking back, that I tried to steal it from you, and you uh, managed to still take it. And uh -huh. during that time, I could have used my double meeple. To some, get it on the farm. I could. I could have just used it somewhere else, anywhere. Yeah. Uh. And been probably more uh, more useful. And I should have taken an opportunity that you. While your builder was incapacitated in that whole area, mm -hmm. I should have put my builder somewhere if I had the opportunity and to start getting extra point, uh, extra turn. Well, but you couldn't. Mm. Um, man, good game though. Yeah, that was nice. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks. Maybe we'll do this uh, more regularly on Sundays. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.